Hi, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Marcus, one more time, spokesman and advocate for basic human rights for all people. Basic human rights, every right that a human might desire, want, or need while in these bodies on this earth at this time. Why? Because this is a reflection of the power that is responsible for our being here. And if we can idealize these things and we have the knowledge of how this power works by dealing with that power, then we know that nothing is impossible for us. And so, yes, we reap what we sow and we know where we go by the things that we sow. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, with me as spokesman and advocate trying to make sure that before I leave this planet that you will understand a little bit better that you might enjoy truly life because what we are what we are experiencing here on this earth today and just to keep any possible confusion let me restrict my conversation to America to the United States of America but I want you to know that whatever I say about the United States of America, it's applicable to everybody on earth, wherever you are. Here's what I found, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I've been given. And I began 40 years ago telling you that every government on the face of the earth is an, a government against the will of God. I have always mentioned that. And I say these governments exist only because it is empowered by the people. I've learned that everybody, for one reason or another, can always say I'm a part of God's plan. I'm associated with God's plan. But the thing that tells the truth about it is that if you are in God's plan, if you're God's plan, you're working for God in the middle of hell. Hell will know it. Why? Because you're not putting up with anything. You're not advocating hell. And when people say, well, everybody else going that way, not you. That's why. That's why. And what happens when you won't be? What does the world say? The world kills you. The world kills you. Now, this, my friends, check this out. This is what, <laughs> this is the big test. You see, you can say you love God. You know all that stuff. The world don't care. But when you start having the power of God, they start looking at you and seeing the power of God being manifest through you, you got to go. Now, what are you going to do? Is God going to keep on shining through your life? Which means you probably finna die. Or are you going to say, well, Lord, I did my best. But uh, I can't do no more. So I'm just going to step aside. Is that what you're going to say? And then tell everybody you're a Christian. Now, you know the, uh, excuse me about Christian. I mean, have a relationship with God. Everybody will be laughing at you. You will be the, the biggest joke. At least they didn't pretend. But you said you were. And you did all the things that you say you did. And maybe others have known. And here you are at that point in time. It doesn't mean anything. And for those who do, that is like, Birth. Ooh, that just hit me. For those who do. And let me see if I can think. I'm just going to use in, in America. Dr. Martin Luther King. Malcolm X. And for some strange reason, something keeps telling me about John F. Kennedy. I don't know about John F. Kennedy. But I do know about Martin Luther King. I do know about Malcolm X. They were killed because of their truth. And... To all of America, this is what I see. After coming to that test, and the, this evil world says, we don't want you here. That means God can use you. And so, your getting killed is like the day you were born. Me, March 2nd. It's just like that day when your mother wound said, here, world, and there you are. And now having gone through that, having test, gone through that test and passed the test, graduated, and now you just, boom, brand new, brand new life. Just everything. Why? Because you deserve it. You're the seed that was planted here to be 
And now you are. You have passed the test. So what I'm saying to you, ladies and gentlemen, I have often said that you're always, always caught up in this thing. And it doesn't matter where you're at. Evil starts at the, the little point where it seems like no evil is going on but just a teeny weeny bit. A teeny weeny bit. And from that teeny weeny bit of evil, all the way to the purest hell you can create, it's all evil. It's all evil. That's why you can't be playing games. Because you're still caught up in, and there's no way you can play games with this, because the test will come. And the test will come when you're real. Some people want to live forever and do all kinds of good things. And that's wonderful. That's wonderful for good things. But it's the good things that they will allow you to do. It is the good things that keep them in power, keep you to denying God. I'm going to tell you, when I sit up there and see people walking out here on the stage now, used by Satan, and tell you any kind of demonic stuff, what they're going to do. They're going to take, well, I'm not going to repeat it. You know what they say they're going to do. And then, what do we got to say? Can anybody stand up and speak for what's right? No, not anybody. You got to know what you're talking about. And who does the basic human rights for all people that comes through a voice that have been chosen to give to you that message? Now, what am I saying? I'm saying to you that we keep on living. We keep on living. We keep on going through the changes that we go through. We keep on our knees praying about this and praying about that. Nothing's coming. You got to grow up, put up. Now, when it comes down to stuff here in America, the Donald Trump, his mouth that is pure from the hell, the things that come out of that come straight from the pit of hell. And those people that's backing that stuff, it's the same thing. It's coming straight from the pit of hell. Now, that they don't, they probably don't know this. They probably just follow his suit. They learn how to just follow whatever, whatever. But it doesn't matter. That's where it's coming from. And it's having the same effect. It's negative. It works against people. It works against what it does. It says that the power that is responsible for all of us being here, white, black, and all the colors in between, all of a sudden somebody tried to must up enough power to set up and threaten you with death and have you bend down bowing to them and telling you what to do and decide what will be the benefit to those who work for, for them or those who do not. And the end result is Hell, chaos, lies, cheating, stealing, killing, terror, war, hatred, racism, and bigotry. All of these negative things. Because somebody wants to stand up and tell you that we are all, people, who, we are all playing, the, the ones that say we love God, we are playing. We are a joke to the world. We go to church every Sunday. We got guys on TV doing commentary. We got these shows on cable. All these guys saying, well, I, I went to church. I believe the, the Sermon on the Mount. They might believe all of that, but it doesn't mean a thing. It doesn't mean a thing. If it meant something, what's going on in, the, in America today would not be going on because they wouldn't take it. They would not put up with it. So it's easy to say that I, I believe in Jesus. I wouldn't do that. No, you wouldn't do that. You just let somebody else do it and you put up with it. And you think you got something going on. People are hurting. People out there on the streets. You're throwing money around. You got 1% of the people having more wealth as, as it has been determined by the, the systems of the world than half of the world. And I don't care what religion you got. I don't care what God you're serving. The sand is okay. And you think you're going to die and spit up in heaven. That's, why do you think that? Because that's what you've been taught. You ain't had no feeling for God. Yeah, God hasn't taken you and just molded you. And why hasn't it? Well, I don't know why he hasn't. Maybe he's waiting for somebody to inspire you. Maybe it's a test to make somebody else do something. I don't know. But I'm telling you what we're on. We're on a path to straight to hell. Straight to hell. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care what kind of dreams you got. Without this change in your life. And I'm not talking about dying and going to hell. I ain't talking, that's not the game that I've been given. I'm talking about thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. When he talk about tearing something down, I'm talking about the things that God would allow us to build. 
Allow us to create. And I'm not just talking about physical structures. I'm talking about the peace, the prosperity, and the freedom, and the joy that we have in our lives. The ability and the right and the time. And do live our dreams. Not dreaming all the time about what I wish I could do. No, we're doing it. Now, if you, I figure like this. If I'm going to be out here on, on this little last leg, God, oh, let me see. I'm going to tell you what's on my mind. I'm definitely going to tell you what's on my mind. And all, all of us, ladies and gentlemen, all of us ain't got nothing to laugh about. All of us. You, you, think, nobody, you, think, you think that there are those that are not complaining about you? There are people complaining about you. And you rich folks, I don't get upset. You know, you just playing that part of the game. And that part of the game, whether you're poor, they're just playing that part of the game. It's all a game that the devil has set up, that Satan has advocated. And we, the people, have all, well, let me just stick to America. And that's what we do. Guys talking about gerrymandering, talking about who can vote, talking about who can get this. You dumb, blind people. You ought to be ashamed. Well, you can't be ashamed. That means that those of us who call ourselves well, not, let me leave that alone. But people who call themselves ministers, preachers, elders, I just will be telling you about God. What are they telling you? Are any of you, are any of them telling you about living life now? Or are they telling you just straighten up and go to hell, go to heaven? Ooh, go to hell? Maybe that's what they're doing. Exactly, that's what you're living right now. If you don't make the change. Now, I, I, yeah, I sound like a fussy. I ain't fussy. I'm thinking about your children. So your children are going to be messed up. I know it. And you're going to be saying, look at them. Lord, they just, they're just going on downhill. But why are they going downhill? Because you're not doing a goddamn thing to help them up the hill. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. You are failing society. You are failing God. Thinking about some old stuff that doesn't, that isn't, has nothing to do with life. That's bondage. <laughs> um, let me go. I'm, I'm getting, so let me go before that. Uh, what they call that stuff? Hmm. That dementia sets in. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Bye-bye.